adjusted to um, more just, minutes. Okay, he's score, so, you know, he's, he's I mean, uh, well, that all starts in practice, you know, competing every day. We, we have really competitive practices. Um, ever since the Big East uh, season has started, we just really go at it in practice, uh, almost a dogfight every day in practice, and that just really helps us as a team because when we compete with each other like that in practice, we take that out on the other team on the floor and really just come together and, and want to just have a dogfight out there with the other team. It had been a while since you filled it up like that. I mean, how badly did you need a game like this? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, my confidence was, was never low. I mean, I always had confidence in myself, even though I was missing. I mean, but but it was definitely a, a helpful game. Um, a helpful game. For me. Bad game doesn't make you a bad player. When it's two, three, mm -hmm. how, how do you keep your confidence during you know, stretches where it's not just one one game and then you bounce back? I mean, it's, it's really all mental. Like, I mean, one game doesn't make you a bad one bad game, two bad games, three bad games. You know, that doesn't make you a bad player. Three good games doesn't make you a great player. I mean, it's just it's just believing in yourself and having the veteran guys on our team believe in you as well as well as our coaches to just tell you like, bro, just step up and shoot the shot. You got the shot. You open and shoot it. No, you know, just don't. You know, like that. It definitely helps, you know, because then I know I don't have to be the one taking the shot. So, you know, when they double a ball screen, I can kick the time for open shot. Or if, if I get in the lane and the guys are hoping I can kick the uh, cam, then I can open shot. So, that's really good for our team. Yeah, for sure. You know, once we, once we rebound an outlet, we get to look for more. Yeah. Yeah. How big is it for you guys to close out a game that was kind of tough the whole way through? You know, away with it. Uh, you know it's, it's, it's what we do. You know, last year I feel like you know that was the statement of our team. Game situation coming down to the end, you know, we found a way to win. You guys had a tough little stretch there, like you went know, two in a row. Did you feel a little bit more back to normal, more like yourself? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's always good to get a win. So you know, once you get a win, you know, it kind of you know heals things for the time being. So we got a, another big game on Saturday, but we have to get doing it. You're not really, we can't look at that we're on the street that we won the games. We just gotta keep thinking that we're, we have only we have five wins and we're in the we're in the mix. I mean, we're not really we're not. We just gotta keep fighting and scrapping and getting our way in this league. What does this team have to do offensively to find more of a rhythm and stay consistent? Is there long droughts. There we are. We did have long droughts, and now we said again today we had about five minutes drought in the first half. But um, we just gotta keep, as I said, trying. We got a little impatient there because we were falling really well, and then we thought we could get it easy and we went away from what we were doing. We just gotta keep remembering that we gotta grind to get our points, and when we do grind, other teams up and we get stuff. And that's what happens. Like that. I'm pretty confident. Thank you. Jack, can you just talk about what uh, you guys got from the freshman tonight? Oh, I mean, that was, that was phenomenal. I mean, how many teams have two freshmen that just come in and just get by? I mean, everyone knows Cam gets buckets. I mean, that's just what he does. But then Zach to come in in his first, I mean, how, it's maybe his first meaningful minutes of the season and just have the confidence like that to go attack the rim. I mean, I, that's, that's just great to see. I mean, I, I wouldn't have had that confidence as a freshman. That just kind of says what type of kid he is and the energy he really brings out there and how hard he plays. The more uh, big forwards, the merrier? No, yeah. I mean, it's just the more big guys we can throw out there. The runner. I mean, he has a kind of goofy haircut, but you know, I'll take it. Um, you know, they, they were huge for us tonight. Cam, Cam came in with, with a lot of energy. Um, you know, hit, hitting five threes um, any night is huge. So, especially in the, in the biggest game, that's, that, that's big for us. Zach came in and gave us great minutes. Um, you know, he's, he's always been an active guy in practice for the last months, for the last few months. So, you know, it's, it's great to see him um, get out there and really produce for us. How's the game changed for you with the big? Your lineup does it does it change much for you at the point? Um, not really. Um, I, I I don't think so. I just I just think that um, I'm, I'm still I'm still figuring out a little bit. Um, playing playing with playing with Tom and, and Jack because you know he's just kicking it to Scott. Um, but um, you know as long as we get the wins, that's all I care about. Usually you get a little bit of home cooking at home. <laughs> Tonight it was almost like food poisoning. <laughs> with yeah. the, it was physical, and you guys weren't getting too many calls. How did you kind of stay in it when you weren't getting maybe some that you thought you should get? Um, you know, I, I just think you know we just mentally tough. Um, we we knew it was gonna be a game like that. They always play us like that. They're um, a really physical team. Um, but you know we had to go back right at them. So um, I think we did a good job at that. Thanks, Eric. Well,